here with her picks for what to take on and what to leave to the pros. Event planner Jennifer Harrop, welcome Hi back guys. to the show. Great I'm so to see excited you. to be back. Awesome. I'm smelling a glue gun in house. It's warmed <laughs> up and ready to go. But this is, I'm so glad we're doing this segment yeah. though, because I am such a DIYer. But there are some things that you say, okay, great, do it yourself. Other things you say, leave it to the pros. Absolutely. So anything that is going to take a lot of time, preparation on your wedding day, leave to the pros. Things like flowers, you can't do flowers until the day before, two days before. You don't, you want to enjoy your wedding weekend. You don't want to have to be, you know, lugging around buckets of flowers. So I definitely think that's a good thing to leave to the pros. And then photography. Right. Leave to the uh, pros. Guys. You pay so much money. You're going to spend a lot of money on your wedding. The photos are all you're going to have left. That's true. So leave, you know, hire an amazing photographer. Please do yourself a favor and hire an amazing photographer. Okay, let's jump into what we should tackle. Absolutely. On our own. Awesome. So my first idea is we're taking just kind of a basic wedding invitation. Okay. And we're going to make it feel really custom, okay? So we're going to take, first I have... Um, like scrapbook paper, right? Yes, exactly. So we've got this envelope here. We're gonna take scrapbook paper. You can print off an envelope liner template online. I've already cut this one out, but you can see here, you just put it through a regular computer printer. Oh, you're and kidding. And it just goes in the envelope. And yeah. these lines are a little faint for our viewers at home, but see this? It looks, it's almost like the outline of a house. And which look is the at Jennifer here. Envelope. This is the, the cut piece, right? Mm -hmm, and exactly. this goes right just in. Cut it out with regular scissors. It slides right in. A couple pieces. That's so impressive. Tip, because stationary invitations, they can be so expensive. So expensive. I mean, it was, this would cost hundreds of dollars. To have. You can just use a piece of double-sided tape, and then beautiful. you've got a beautiful envelope liner. All right. And then, and then you want to put your regular invitations in there. Yeah. And so we're actually going, we're going to plus that up, too. We're going to take our regular invitations. So we're going to use the seam binding tape. Super inexpensive. This is a 100-yard roll. Okay. Seam binding can, tape. Yeah. Where do you get this? Amazon has, it comes Where in. Where do you get it now? <laughs> <laughs> right it now. It comes in so many colors. Like, this literally comes in, like, I think over 50 colors. Okay. So you can get it in whatever wedding color you need. You're going to take a little piece of it. We're going to tie it up around the invitation. Oh, my word. That Look is at so that, impressive. Jennifer. And it matches the inside. Of it's course. like you tied your invitation up in a little blanket. Yeah. Like oh. it needs a nap. Well, anyways, you're going to. I know, here. Oh, thank so you. You need another person. I did a finger. Yeah. <laughs> no, you got it. That's looking great. Beautiful. So Magic yeah, of TV. Little... You get the idea. There so, we go. Yeah. Perfect. And then we put Slides it in, right, in, right? And look at how impressive that is. Kat, our producer, she's getting married, right? You could do that. <laughs> Here, Kat, you can use this take for you. Take that ready. one. Here, take it's this one. It's a wrong already, invitation. It's, it's already good for you. <laughs> we got to pass it along. <laughs> but now we're going to seal it, okay? Okay. All right, guys, we're going to use a regular hot glue gun. You can buy these wax sticks. So we're going to do a wax seal with a regular hot glue gun. Why can't no. you just lick it and stick it? Oh, no. you're gonna do like yes, a monogram seal. a beautiful seal. seal. Lick yeah. it and stick it. Stand by, Derek. We've, we've got a demo coming. You just squeeze oh, it I right can. out. Do we have to let it dry? No. So I get it, do, it's so fancy. You just, and then you can buy these online. You can get a custom one made for $50. You can get or a- Or you can get like two rings that's like a wedding theme or whatever it a is. Generic ones, yeah, they're like 20 <gasps> to $30. And look at that. Oh my word. Here, let's just- Kat, you need this. Real still right there. This reminds me of Game of Thrones. It's oh, dripping it's dripping. Bit, <laughs> that's okay, it'll dry. <laughs> so, and Leave I'm not sure flat if our viewers can real see, life. but these are, that's a monogrammed the initials, initials yes. there right now. Oh, beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. Jinx. I know. We're gonna use our okay. we're gonna use our wax seal again okay. because now we're making favors. All right, we're gonna pop, pop some just inexpensive chocolates we bought at the store. What store? Where do you buy good? Where are we buying them? Store. I mean, like you Anything. unwrap Kit Kats and stuff. Yeah. Really? I would say use whatever's your favorite. Like if you How and your potential that? groom if have like, like favorite chocolates, pop them in there. Or you, whatever. Or Skittles yes. or something. Yeah, that could be cool. Because yeah. we're gonna put them in this fancy looking little box and we're gonna make it look fancy, but inside it doesn't necessarily have to be fancy. Okay, so we're using the same ribbon. Exactly. These are also really great baby shower favors. Oh yeah, totally. You guys wanna try the wax seal? So what do I do here? So take the hot glue gun. Okay. You're just gonna Get squeeze right it. Here, I'll hold it for you. Okay. Squeeze it on. And by the way, if you're looking for these little white boxes or the ribbons, yeah. Craft Tex, go online to Craft Tex and look for it right here in Houston. They're such a great resource. You did a great Absolutely. story there. Yeah. There we go. And Hobby nice Lobby too has lots of, yeah, and you, can, you can pull it off, yeah. <gasps> there we go. That, this one's not gonna drip too, because it's flat. Oh, my word. 
I'm so impressed with that. <laughs> I have to get Seriously. one of these stamps. These wow. are amazing. Well, you know, wax sealing used to be so tricky. You'd have to melt the wax in a pot it's with a whole spoon. deal. The hot glue gun makes it so simple. Okay, we have 30 seconds left. All right, so just a couple quick table number ideas here. The first is just you can take these simple numbers you buy at the craft store, give them a quick coat of paint. What fun table numbers. And then also little craft blocks. Again, you buy them at the craft store, give them a quick paint, cut a slit in them, and then you can pop these computer printed table numbers. Oh. You just pop them right in. So cute. Jennifer, you have just blown my mind. <laughs> These are simple, they look great. Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh -huh. As always, you can visit the Scene on Houston Life section on our website if you would like to connect with Jennifer. Yeah, thanks so much. Thanks for having me again. I want to get married now. <laughs> After the break, you better.